Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. We've got rain. Well, we had rain, now we have wet roads, but I see where we're going in the, on the horizon, maybe raining, pretty heavy. So let's do a rain video here and see how Autopilot handles that. We're in autopilot, we're in the rain, uh, no radar, vision only, uh, and we're coming up to a construction site with some barrels on the side. Let's see what it does, if it, how close it comes to these barrels. Uh, it avoids them, it slows down too. Okay, in autopilot, in autopilot, coming up to a red light. Um, we have auto wipers on, the windshield looks pretty <laughs> wet but it's not coming on yet the wipers uh, at least autopilot's not needing the wipers to clean the window so let's see what happens let's see how long we can go before the wipers activate and actually clean the window because like i said it's not raining but the roads are wet so there's a spray coming off the cars in front of us and now with all these cars in front of us as the light goes green here we're going to get some serious spray Let's see how long it takes for the wipers to uh, come on and clean the windshield. Well, we're still going pretty slow because there's a flatbed tractor trailer in front of us, it looks like, that's uh, going fairly slow. They must have changed the angle or the design of the clearance. Oh, th those repeater cameras on either side because they never, I mean, I know winter will be the test, but they never seem to get rain on them or they never seem to get dirty as much as they did when they had, I had the Model 3. The Model 3 seemed to get wet quite a lot more. As you can see, the backup camera, the rear camera, it's got water droplets all over it. You can still see most of it, but a little, little bit of it is blurred out. But the repeater cameras on the side, they're perfect, near perfect at least. Wipers still have them come on. I'm gonna change lanes here. Get behind this guy. Go back into autopilot, see if the wipers come on now. No, auto high beams came on um, as just the setting came on, but the beams themselves haven't come on because it's quite bright out. I don't think it needs it, but it's just in case it has it, uh, the setting turned on and uh, we're going a little faster and it still has not come on now keep in mind the lower part of the windshield here and the middle part seems to be a lot more wet than the top part where the camera is so maybe that has something to do with it so you know if the camera doesn't need to see it and it's the one that doing the driving the lane keeping and the uh, traffic where cruise control, then I don't need to see it. I'll let the camera do what it needs to do. Okay, I think we're coming into the area now where it's looks like it should be raining. And uh, I hear I hear drops on the windshield now. Big drops. <laughs> this may get fun. Yeah, it's, it's officially raining again. Wipers still have not come on. Let me just check to make sure that it's set on auto wipers. Yep, it's set on auto wipers, but the car still doesn't need the wipers uh, to clean the windshield yet. It, it can see where it needs to see, I guess. Until it tells me to take over. There we go. Now it comes on. And now comes the rain. So it's detecting the rain. It certainly is detecting the rain. long tractor trailer beside me as we pull up to the red light it is oh you know what it is it's a uh, heavy tow a classic heavy tow it's towing a um, another flatbed <laughs> so that's why I thought it was a flatbed because it's a heavy tow tow truck towing a flatbed so here comes the rain uh, let's see if we can get some torrential downpour now it's coming down pretty good now it's not torrential yet 
but it is getting heavier and uh, we're still at a standstill at this red light so when we start to go we'll see what kind of um velocity this rain comes in at you may it may be hard to hear me a little bit of lightning in the background too we got a good old-fashioned storm here summer storm wipers are going a little faster now and we've got the green light now the speed limit here was 80 now it's up here it's going to go to 60 and here comes the rain so it's going to knock us down to 60. The problem is people on this stretch they never do 60. right up here it's, it's changed back to 80 so i'm just going to assist the uh car to get up to 80 as soon as it can still doesn't say see the car didn't pick up that uh i don't know if it's because of the rain it didn't pick up the um speed sign saying 80. so because people are behind me and it's raining, I don't want to um, go too slow in this rain. So I'm gonna assist it by hitting the accelerator. As you can see, people are passing me on the right-hand side. It's coming down pretty heavy. Autopilot's still engaged. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. You can see in the cameras here, the amount of spray I've got coming up behind me through my tracks. I don't know if you can see the road in front of me the pooling of the water the good part of this uh, roadway or the, is that it's actually well marked uh, the white dotted lines and the yellow solid line is well painted and well marked I just don't know with the glare from the rain if the car is picking that up now it detects 80 so I can take my foot off the accelerator let the car take over and do the distance and everything by the way my distance is uh, five right now it's set to five I probably in this rain I would probably normally set it to maybe six but we'll leave it at five for now just as a safe stopping distance I know a lot of people you guys love your one your one setting and you guys love just driving in one I I don't know teach their own I, I just don't like driving in one so we're gonna come out of autopilot here because at this light we need to turn right a left and get into the left turn lane. So let's do that. Come out of autopilot all together and cruise control. So when the light goes green and we make the left turn, we'll go back into autopilot and gauge it again. Wipers are working really good. I mean, I wouldn't have it set if they weren't on auto any higher or any less. They're working pretty good. I know a lot of people don't like the wipers, uh, the auto wipers, but uh, I don't mind them. They're not perfect. Uh, just a couple days ago, they, were, uh, <laughs> they weren't working that great, I'll fully admit. But uh, for the most part, they work good. And just that little bit of speed, it seems to have cleared the rear view camera, as you can see from the water droplets. It looks fairly clear now. I mean, a little bit around the side here, but for the most part, it looks pretty clear. The side repeater cameras, still immaculate. They must have did something, made them a different design, angled them differently uh, in the housing, maybe, because they're not picking up any kind of spray or any water. It'll be interesting to see in the winter what happens. Okay, we didn't make this red light, this green light, sorry. So we're gonna have to wait for another cycle. I'll speed this up for you. Okay, we got the advanced screen and we can uh, get on our way now. And uh, it's not the torrential downpour I was hoping for, uh, but it was a, somewhat of a heavy rain, but now it seems to have subsided a little bit. So we're gone back into autopilot. And uh, we're going to get a good distance away from this CRV and uh, keep going up here. This, this is just what I wanted to show you folks. I just want to give you an updated uh, rain video on vision only, Tesla Vision autopilot. No cameras, sorry, <laughs> no uh, radar, just cameras strictly. And uh, it's still going good. I mean, I had I yet to have any disengagements or the autopilot or the cameras refusing to 
uh, engage autopilot in the rain. Maybe I haven't had uh, heavy enough rainfall, is what some people in the comments of the, my last rain video said. And uh, I've been actually wishing, when it rains like this, I just wish that it would just come down in a torrential downpour, like heavy, heavy monsoon rain, but um, haven't got it yet. So maybe it will then, but I'm quite satisfied with, with the way it's um, handled with this vision only. And I just wanted to show you a, a true representation, uh, unedited, it sped up a little bit, but unedited, uh, real world situation. If people were doubting or people were worrying about autopilot in the rain with just a camera only, vision only uh, system. It's getting a little heavier up here now. Still not monsoon, but the markings on the road here bright enough but there's just some other markings on the road that could distract it and could confuse the cameras but it's, it seems to be doing pretty good it's slowing down it sees i don't know if it sees the brake light or it just sees the car in front slowing down and it's uh, slowing down quite fine smoothly nothing abrupt we've got a fresh green light up ahead of us we'll see what happens there as uh, we continue like I said, it's th this is what I would consider a moderate rain. I don't know if you would consider it the same or if you would consider it a light rain. I would consider this a moderate rain. Uh, no giant raindrops. Uh, like, it started to a little bit at the beginning before it started raining there. I was anticipating that, but um, now that we've sped up, the wipers have sped up there just to match the speed and the velocity of the rain coming down and the frequency. I will end off the video here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you got any comments or you got anything you want me to see or any questions you want to ask me, leave it down in the comments below. And uh, we will bring you more Tesla Vision videos as uh, time comes and uh, weather permits and uh, conditions permit. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.